Welcome to Cancer Treatment Updates, where treatment options for cancer are discussed openly and demystified. Cancer is not a new disease. The earliest known case was a type of bone cancer discovered in a fossil from a human who lived in South Africa between 1.6 and 1.8 million years ago. The earliest reference to the disease is attributed to the Egyptian physician Imhotep, who lived around 2600 BC. Imhotep described in his writings an affliction characterized by a bulging mass in the breast that was resistant to any known therapies. In the ancient world, the word cancer was largely absent from medical texts. However, historical records reveal descriptions of tumors and growths that may well have been manifestations of this silent adversary. The great physician Hippocrates in the 5th century BCE used the term carcanos to describe such swellings marking an early reference to what we now recognize as cancer. As the medieval era unfolded, superstitions and misconceptions surrounded the understanding of diseases. Cancer was often deemed a result of bad humors or a curse from higher powers. Medical treatments were rudimentary, often relying on surgical interventions that brought more harm than good. The Renaissance saw a resurgence of interest in the sciences, leading to advancements in anatomy and the understanding of the human body, yet the true nature of cancer remained elusive. It wasn't until the 17th century that the microscope emerged, opening a new realm of exploration. Enter the microscope, a revolutionary invention that allowed scientists to peer into the microscopic world. In the 19th century, the pioneering work of pathologists like Rudolf Virchow revealed cellular abnormalities in cancerous tissue. This marked a pivotal moment as scientists began to unravel the mystery at the cellular level. The 20th century brought a watershed moment in the fight against cancer, the rise of surgical interventions. Surgeons like William Halstead had developed radical procedures to excise tumors, offering newfound hope to patients. Advancements in anesthesia have been pivotal in transforming surgery from a challenging ordeal into a safe and manageable procedure. This breakthrough in medical science has not only made surgeries possible, but has also revolutionized the way we approach and conduct these life-saving operations. However, surgery alone proved insufficient and a more comprehensive approach was needed. Cue the entrance of radiation therapy pioneers like Marie Curie and her contemporaries harnessed the power of radiation to target and shrink tumors. This marked a significant leap forward in cancer treatment, combining surgery with a more nuanced approach. Next came systemic therapy, a cornerstone approach that revolutionized how we combat cancer by targeting the disease throughout the entire body, rather than just at its origin. Hormonal therapy, also referred to as endocrine therapy, emerged as one of the earliest treatment strategies for tumors that rely on hormonal stimulation for their growth. In 1896, Dr. George Beetson documented the positive outcomes following removal of the ovaries in two cases of inoperable breast cancer. This finding highlighted the potential of systemic approaches to treatment. Tamoxifen was the first targeted therapy, inducing tumor regressions by binding to the estrogen receptor in breast cancer cells. Other endocrine therapies include aromatase inhibitors, estrogen receptor downregulators and LHRH agonists. The development of CDK46 inhibitors represents a major advance in the treatment of ERPR positive PR2 negative breast cancer. The mid 20th century ushered in the era of cytotoxic chemotherapy. A groundbreaking paradigm shift scientists discovered chemicals capable of killing, rapidly dividing cells, a characteristic common to cancer cells. Chemotherapy involves the use of drugs to destroy cancer cells. It can be classified into several types based on the mechanism of action and their chemical composition. Alkylating agents, anti-metabolites, anti-tumor, antibiotics, topoise omerase inhibitors, mitotic inhibitors, and platinum-based drugs are different types of chemotherapy. Though early chemotherapy was harsh, it laid the foundation for more targeted and tolerable treatments in the years to come. On the other hand, some types of cancer require high doses of chemotherapy and autologous bone marrow transplantation, allogenic bone marrow transplantation. 
offers a potential treatment route for certain leukemia types, yet it may lead to considerable toxic effects. Enter the world of targeted biologic therapy. The development of monoclonal antibodies in 1975 and the discovery of oncogenes in the 1980s led to the development of targeted therapies. Herceptin, also known as trastuzumab, was the first monoclonal antibody approved for the treatment of a solid tumor, HER2 positive breast cancer. Trastuzumab and pertuzumab are monoclonal antibodies directed against different domains of the extracellular region of the HER2 protein. Preclinical studies showed a synergistic interaction between trastuzumab and pertuzumab in HER2 positive breast cancer cells. The combination of trastuzumab and pertuzumab improved overall survival and became a major advance in the treatment of HER2 positive breast cancer. Antibody drug conjugates such as NHER2 allow targeted delivery of chemotherapy to cancer cells safely and effectively. The Food and Drug Administration has approved more than 15 monoclonal antibodies and antibody drug conjugates for solid tumors. Another example of groundbreaking targeted biological therapy is Gleevec, a drug that blocks a specific genetic abnormality in chronic myelogenous leukemia and gastrointestinal stromal tumors. Before Gleevec, the only curative treatment for chronic myelogenous leukemia was allogenic bone marrow transplantation. With Gleevec, a deadly disease could be controlled by a pill targeting a unique genetic alteration in the cancer cells, the Philadelphia chromosome. As we moved into the 21st century, the spotlight shifted to the genetic frontier. The Human Genome Project unraveled the intricate code of our DNA, unveiling the genetic basis of cancer. This knowledge paved the way for precision medicine, tailoring treatments based on the unique genetic makeup of each patient's tumor. The development of safe and effective immunotherapy has been a true game changer. Harnessing the body's immune system to recognize and destroy cancer cells, this innovative approach marked a paradigm shift in cancer treatment. Immunotherapy brought forth unprecedented success stories, turning the tide in battles once thought unwinnable. Immunotherapy approaches include monoclonal antibodies, cellular therapy and vaccines, monoclonal antibodies. Targeting immune checkpoints are highly effective against different types of cancer. For example, antibodies directed against the PD-1, PD-L1 immune checkpoint can make cancer cells visible to the immune system. From the first FDA approval of Keytruda in 2014, PD-1, PD-L1 inhibitors have received more than 50 approvals for various indications in cancer treatment. These approvals cover a wide range of cancer types and treatment modalities, demonstrating the drug's significant impact in the field of oncology. Cellular therapy represents another effective method in the immunotherapy treatment of cancer. Activation of T cells plays a crucial role in recognizing and eliminating cancer cells. Kiar T cell therapy involves genetically modifying a patient's T cells to express a chimeric antigen receptor that targets specific proteins on the surface of cancer cells, enabling the immune system to better recognize and attack cancer cells. Tumor infiltrating lymphocytes therapy involves extraction of lymphocytes, a type of white blood cell, from the tumor expansion and cell activation in the lab, and then reintroduction into the patient's body to fight the cancer. Natural killer cells can be either extracted from the patient or a donor expanded in the lab and then administered to the patient to target and destroy cancer cells. Dendritic cells are collected from a patient exposed to cancer-specific antigens and then re-administered to the patient. The aim is to stimulate the immune system to attack cancer cells. Another approach to cell therapy is to collect immune cells from the patient's blood treat them with cytokines to increase their cancer-fighting ability, and then reintroduce them into the patient. Cancer vaccines are a type of immunotherapy that aim to stimulate or restore the immune system's ability to fight cancer. Vaccines work by introducing one or more antigens into the body, which can then provoke an immune response against cancer cells. There are two main types of cancer vaccines, preventive and therapeutic. Examples of preventive vaccines are the HPV vaccine, which prevents cervical cancer, uh, 
and the hepatitis B vaccine, which prevents liver cancer. Provange is a therapeutic vaccine that is used to treat advanced prostate cancer. Research is ongoing to develop personalized cancer vaccines, which are tailored for specific tumors and individual. As we stand on the cusp of a new era, hope gleams on the horizon. Advances in technology, a deeper understanding of cancer biology, and a global commitment to research propel us forward. CRISPR technology is emerging in AI uh, as a potent tool in cancer research for gene editing. Next generation sequencing of tumors can inform what actionable mutations or other genetic and epigenetic abnormalities are present in a patient's tumor as we entered the second decade of the 21st century. Less invasive liquid biopsies allow cancer diagnostics using blood tests. As sequencing technologies improve, we will be able to monitor patients using blood tests with prognostic and predictive value. Precision medicine is becoming a reality for many patients in 2024. Tailoring treatment based on individual genetic profiles is already happening. Nanotechnology is facilitating the development of targeted drug delivery and diagnostics. The journey has been long filled with challenges and triumphs, but the fight against cancer continues with unwavering determination. And there you have it, the tapestry of cancer woven through the ages, from ancient times to the present day. The story of our struggle against this formidable foe is one of resilience, discovery, and hope. As we look to the future, the pages of history remind us that each breakthrough, no matter how small, brings us one step closer to conquering cancer once and for all. Thanks for watching.